Hey everyone, my name is Diamond. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to curl your hair using flat irons. Um, it's just a lot of things that you shouldn't do when curling your hair. Like, make sure you do things right. Um, here's a couple pictures and videos of girls you don't want to end up like in the near future. And another person you don't want to end up like is me. Look at this bad bro mark I got from wine curling my hair. So hopefully this tutorial goes well and don't no mistakes happen. And I'll show you girls how to curl your hair perfectly using the what? Flat irons. <laughs> okay, for this hair tutorial, I'll be using the flat irons that are called Fahrenheit by Hair Care System. And I got these at my local beauty supply store. It shouldn't be a problem receiving these or purchasing these. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to get straight to it. I'm tired of talking. And you guys probably tired of hearing me talk. So, normally when I spiral curl my hair, I start off at the front piece. And also, I forgot to mention, since this is not my natural hair, I normally put the um, flat iron to the highest temperature, which is 450, just to get the right curl. But norm apparently, if this, is your, if, it's, if this is not your natural hair, don't try it. So, I get the shortest piece. I normally just go down with it just to get it straight enough. Then since this is the front of my hair, I take it to the back. Turning it backwards away from your face. Going down, going down, going down. Getting a nice grip. And once you feel like it's enough, you have to curl, you know. Put it to the back again. Going down, going down. And also, this piece goes, to the, goes straight to the end. Because if not, it would be sticky ends and you would not want your hair looking like that. I'm pretty sure, ladies. Then also just try to get to the end point without burning yourself. So just let it go. Like don't go all the way down to the piece. After a while just let it go. And it should be hooked inside. You know. And then just let it go. And there you go. There you curl. I'll show you guys about three or four more pieces. Just so you guys can be looking nice. Also go straight down just to get it smooth and soft. And just as before go backwards away from your face getting a good grip holding the other piece the end pieces going down going down going down and after a while you get like to the half point you just want to turn it back around the same way getting a nice piece also remember to go all the way down to the end but try not to burn yourself so after you get to the end two point I mean to the end enough it'll already be clamped inside so you can just roll it back up just to get the form together you know and then just let it go and it should bounce off. It's a curl. Normally, I just put the curls together like that. And get another piece. Go all the way down just to get it to be straight enough and not nappy looking. And once before, go toward away from your face, wrapping it around, getting the end piece, holding it, going down. And so you think when you think you halfway. To the a, a nearest enough point, you will turn it back again just to get another curl. Because you have to turn it a couple times in order to get the nice spiral curl. Other than that, it wouldn't be a spiral. It would just be a big one curl. And also, taking it to the end piece, just rolling it back just so every piece can get its nice form. And there you go. I'll show you guys one more piece. Detangle the hair. Go all the way down just to get it. Now flat iron first just to get it soft. And once that's before, go back. Getting a nice grip, flipping it all the way over, getting into a nice grip, going down to about halfway and flipping it around again. Towards, I'm sorry, away from your face. Making sure you get to the end pieces without burning your head, without burning yourself. And once it's clamped in, you should be straight and just roll it a couple of times just to get the form that said previous. And then just let it go. And there is your spiral curl. I will be giving you the results once I finish this mess.
thanks for watching I'm almost getting to the point where I'm done but ladies please don't judge I have to get this mess at the top together so normally if your hair like that at the top just run a press to come through it and just flip the hair also just to blend it with your hair because that's the problem I'm having my do growth hair is really starting to come in so if you get like that you can always just curl your real hair that's out and just blend it with the weave and it'll go straight together but I will update you with the pictures so once again thanks for watching bye